Hi everyone. So it's the symposium here. If you didn't know, we're a brand new channel about to do build videos and a noob versus pro challenge series where I, Sam the noob, goes up against Elk the pro as we try to build things. It just so happens that The Sims decided to launch a new stuff pack today just as we were getting ready to get started. So what we're going to do first is a reaction or a breakdown of the pack that will premiere just in a few moments. We're going to watch it as it premieres, uh, give our thoughts, and hopefully get this video, our first video, at today. Uh, so about a week ago now, some sim gurus started posting parts of a GIF followed by an announcement of an announcement that will happen today. And honestly, it's pretty obvious from the post that this was a ghost theme stuff pack, but we don't really know what exactly that means other than, well, it's got ghosts in it. A while ago now they did a survey or a vote, which I took, but I don't think Sam did, about what we'd like to see in future packs. And it was when they ultimately landed on Nifty Knitting. But ghosts were mentioned in another part of the survey. Yeah, no, you're right. I don't tend to take those surveys, but um, Nifty Knitting was decent enough. Uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised. Um, I like that they made it more intricate by adding things like Plopsy as kind of like an Etsy replacement instead of just selling it to the ether like uh, we used to do with paintings. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't that excited for Nifty Knitting either, but since playing it, it's probably one of the best stuff packs that I've seen in my opinion, if you're playing The Sims for realism anyway. If not, you're probably going to be really disappointed in that and stuff like Tiny Living and Laundry Day that came out quite recently, so it's probably time for a different kind of stuff pack. I, I, I kind of want to see what career options are going to be introduced, if any. Uh, one of the things that I enjoyed the most have been the active careers from, you know, Get Famous and Get to Work. Honestly, I, I'm just looking for fewer rabbit holes. It'll be interesting to see what new activities are going to be had. So in that survey they had a lot of options for ghost or occult based items like fortune tellers, spirit boards and seance tables. And so obviously a lot of people are thinking that this is a happy haunts pack, which would make sense. But from the gif it seemed to be mostly about investigations or ghost hunting, which wouldn't be my top ask for a stuff pack and also not the, on the top of my list out of stuff from that community survey either. So honestly I'm just most excited about the build by content as I build quite a lot of the time. Um, hopefully here we'll be able to find out exactly what it is soon. Mm, let's get on to the video. Oh, the lights are flickering. Ooh, a little lovely creepy doll. Okay, so it looks like haunted houses. Paranormal. So not happy haunts. So it looks like it is a trait. Oh, so there are different ghost types. That was an angry ghost. Oh. Okay, so that looks like a spirit guide. Oh, good seances. I'm, I'm guessing this is a new type of dinner event, dinner party. So it looks like they've merged it all together. Oh, could be fun. Oh, please let this be an active career. Okay, so there is a new career, paranormal investigator. Oh, it looks like it. You should be happy. Mm -hmm. That looks like Coraline. Is that ectoplasm? Nice. Everything here looks pretty good. The new items look pretty neat. January 26th. So quite a while then. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so uh, we're gonna break that down scene by scene. Look at a few what's going on here, really, and all the build by items are kind of kind of interesting. It's a little bit different from what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting just like haunted houses, but it seems like they've mixed the seances in as well, which is I, I am more interested in in that. And they've got an active career for you, so. You should be happy. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I mean, when they, you know, went into a couple of houses and saw like some little ghosts, it gave me the impression that it is an active career. I'm pretty interested in this thing on the wall. I don't know what it is. Like macram, what they call it, macrame. <laughs> I don't know. It looks pretty interesting anyway. They've got some new, I think everything in here is new pretty much. I don't recognize this wallpaper, but I could be, uh, 
I could be wrong. It's not as old as I was expecting it to be. It's like it's got influences from older furniture and things like that. But I was expecting like proper old sort of Victorian looking furniture. But I guess they covered that a little bit in the vampires pack. Yeah. Okay, so this is more like kind of more what I was expecting with the old sort of picture frames and things. Looks like a new one. Yeah, and the, and the lights, I'm guessing. Yeah, the up lights. They look a bit like moths. I quite like that. I wonder if they'll be able to let you turn, let's say if you want all the items, would, do you think they'll be able to let you turn off the ghost stuff? It's probably a trait of some kind, like a haunted house lot that you can put on. I, I don't think that they would put this on every house. If they kind of force this onto every lot, it would be a bit much, I think. Because some people like to play without the occult and other people don't, so I feel like it would be a bit unfair to just make this something that is unavoidable. It's not called what I expected it to be called. It's not called Happy Haunts. It's called Paranormal. So, <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense if if they're just including if they're also including fortune te tellers. It would make sense that they would call it Paranormal instead of Happy Haunts. Yeah. So this is all new. This is a new floor, a new wall. I'm not sure about the I'm not sure about the door. This rug is new. I really like this. I like this like little wall hanging thing. I don't I don't know what it is, but I like it. Okay, so that explains it. It's a new lot type. It's a, um, it'll be like a micro home. You just kind of opt into it. It'll be a haunted house. Or like in uh, in Solani as well. Like there is the I forget what the exact name of the lot, but it's like the the spirits. If you, like if you select that lot lot type, Solani spirits will spawn in the house. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting. It seems to be like a preserved ghost. I'm not quite. I guess maybe you can collect these little these little ghosty spirits. Honestly, I'm just happy that they're not Ghostbusters themed after the Star Wars one. It's true. I don't think they have a an, any kind of agreement with Ghostbusters. I'm pretty sure all of this is new. I'm not. I mean, it is a stuff pack, so that would make sense that it had quite a lot of stuff in it. I don't think this bed is new though. Um, I yeah, I don't think so. I believe that bed is the bed that you have in Bella Goth's home. This looks like an evil spirit. All the options on that community survey were sort of... I think you had haunted house lot types, you had a Grim Reaper career, so that's the only one I haven't seen is the Grim Reaper career in this. Um, they had seances, uh, seance tables, fortune teller career, investigation, ghost hunting, and you could have like evil poltergeists and that kind of thing. So I'm assuming it's just they've kind of combined all of the stuff that was in that list. So here we have, I guess, the angry poltergeist. This is weird. It looks like hands coming out of the ground. Oh, true. I didn't catch that at first. And here's more of the, the furniture. Uh, the creepy doll is still there. Is that a tiny cow plant? <laughs> Looks like it. So I'm guessing the ghost comes out of the painting? I'm assuming he's like, if you put him, if you put, it's like the sad clown. If you put him there, he'll come out of the, he'll come out of the wall, I, am I guess. I don't know if he's good or bad though. Maybe he'll be like some people who claim to be mediums have a spirit guide. He could be one of those. So yeah, like the impression that I got is this kind of this kind of like another dinner event kind of scenario where you you know meet certain goals in order to then get ranked bronze, silver, gold. Yeah, I, I, it looks like an event, and this is all just showing off the seance. So the chairs coming up there become a paranormal investigator so i'm i'm assuming that's an active career because it seems like one that would naturally be an active career yeah yeah it, it is i've always enjoyed the active careers like i was saying earlier so being able to go into people's homes and this you know find out you know what's happening investigate and then like catch a ghost or or free a ghost or whatever that actually sounds like a lot of fun like, I, I can't tell you how many hours I spent doing those active careers. It's just, I enjoyed them quite a bit. And I was kind of sad that the last few expansions and game packs didn't have an active career. Yeah, they've been lacking a little bit lately. Like, Snowy Escape salary person really disappointed me. <laughs> uh, so here, Bob Pancakes looks very nonplussed about all the ghosts in his house. The goths are being terrorized by the Coraline doll. See, I feel like in this scenario, I would just kind of leave the ghosts here, let them be haunted. And then over there, she's cleaning up after the ghost. I'm wondering if, like, they liquefied the ghost and now she has to clean. It's probably ectoplasm. And then 
here she is casually talking to the Grim Reaper. Our girl Bone Bone Hilda is back, like a ghost in a horror film, just uh, walked through the background there. So for those who don't know, um, Bone Hilda was around in Sims One making magic. I think they skipped uh, Sims 2, but she was in Sims 3 Supernatural as well. She came back, she's basically, she'll look after your kids and clean up your home for you, but I don't think she gardens or anything like that. So it'll be interesting to see how much uh, Bone Hilda remains uh, the same or if they've changed her in any way. Oh, cool. And here they just go through all the, I think they go through all the build items. I, I gotta say, this stuff pack looks like it has a lot more stuff than, like, I expect in a stuff pack. I am finding it kind of weird how it seems like the expansion packs and the game packs are having less content lately, but then the stuff packs are having more. But yeah, it looks okay for a stuff pack. A again, not not too my cup of tea, just because of the occult, and I, I tend to play the realism stuff more, and I just tend to build more than actually play anyway. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first, but I feel like the active career is going to- is an incentive for me to buy it right away. Okay. I hope you liked this video. Let us know what else you'd like to see, if you'd like to see us play it. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.